Hi, good afternoon, and welcome back to Mama Sanity. Today is Friday, March the 22nd, and I hope that you have a wonderful weekend planned. Today we're gonna be, the devotional's talking a bit about um, what goes around comes around, um, being kind to other people if you wanna be treated kindly, and then um, what I'm gonna read to you today is another kind of food for thought for the weekend, and then end with the quote for the day. So here we go. Kindness is like a boomerang. It always comes back to you. When you put your comfort and convenience aside for the sake of another's need, you're a special angel in that person's life. When you give your resources, times, energy, expertise to fill someone else's lack, what you gain back is gratitude, good feelings, and heartfelt appreciation, far surpasses anything that you could have given. When you give of yourself, it's a win-win situation. You know, that's very true. Um, I'm the person in, in the neighborhood that, I guess because I'm a stay-at-home mom, and don't get me wrong, I love helping others, um, but I'm kind of like the go-to person for, um, you know, when people are going out of town, I'm happy to help them with their pets. Um, if parents are working, um, since I'm picking up my kids from school anyway, I pick up their kids and watch them for a little bit. Um, if you need me to, hey, can you go pick up so-and-so from a place, I am more than happy to do it. And I think that's very important um, in the aspect of helping others. So help, I may not have the money to help the poor and I may not have the money to help other people, but I can give in my time. No matter what you can do, whether it's money, whether it's time, whether it's a smile or a hug, it's always good to help others in need, or even if they if they don't seem like they need a need, they have a need, it's good to be there for them and to help with anything that they need help. Offer a shoulder to cry on. Offer if you need anything, if you need to call me in the middle of the night, you know, if it's a close friend of yours and they're going through something um, very detrimental in their life, you know, just let them know, hey, day or night, I don't care if it's three o'clock in the morning, call me if you just need to vent, scream, cry, talk, whatever. You know, if it's going to, if you're going to the grocery store and your neighbor or something says, hey, if you're going to the grocery store, can you pick me up a few items? Um, yeah, not a problem. You know, it's, it's being available to help other people. And not only does that show your kindness, but it also is kind of like a domino effect. So you're there to help somebody and in turn somebody will come and help you there's you know i like to take every couple months i go through the kids toys and clothes that they've outgrown or that they don't use anymore and i always like to donate them so every few months i have a big donation pile that i give to the, the shelters and in doing that over the years you know there's family members that i have there are neighbors that i have that have been so kind and so wonderful that they have given us clothes, you know, in return of that their kids have outgrown. So it's kind of like a domino effect. Everybody's there to help each other, and it just makes the world a much better, positive, more friendly place. Um, the food for thought that I want to um, have you think about is kind of what, what we're talking about, what goes around comes around and not living in the negative, bitter part, but kind of living in the positive, helpful aspect of life. Don't let this world make you bitter. Don't let the actions of other people turn you cold on the inside. Certain things happen that hurt us. People come and people leave us. And most of all, there are moments when you're bound to fall. Don't let those things make you unkind. It's okay to cry. It's okay to be sad, but it's never okay to do to the other person a wrong just because you were done wrong. We're human, we break, we make mistakes, but don't let the pain and sadness run your lives. Wake up in the morning and do what you think is right. There are moments in your life where you feel like giving up and you can't take any more. It's okay, just breathe. Inhale and exhale. I know you're weak, but the things that show your weak side are also the same ones that make you stronger in the long run. It's all about taking whatever life throws at you and learning from it. I wanted you to think about that today 
um, and over the weekend because I know especially on the weekends you know we all like to go out and that's when we have like you know special date nights or, or we have outings with our families or we have running errands or shopping or we're out in the world somewhere doing something over the weekends and I wanted you to really think about this and ponder it because it's talking about we all have a vulnerability and we all have a weakness inside of us and there are people out there who know our vulnerability and know our weaknesses and they use that against us and we've just got to fight back with kindness and we've just got to keep that smile like I said yesterday keep a smile on your face and don't let them know that they're hurting you don't let somebody's wrongdoing make you cold and bitter inside to where you do something wrong to somebody else or even get revenge. It's not your place to get revenge. In the end, God judges all and they will get their revenge and justification somehow. It is not up to you to make that person pay for something wrong that they did. They're living their life while you're got this anger built up inside of you and it's making you cold-hearted and bitter and like I said there's things that have happened to me in my past and this has taken me a long time to really learn and kind of try and put into practice because there are things that have happened to me in my past that I've carried into my marriage with me and that's not fair to my husband because he didn't do these things to me but be because they were done to me in the past it's like I'm making him pay subconscious, like I'm not meaning to make him pay, but the way I'm acting and my attitude toward him is bitter and angry because of what happened in the past. And so it's really good to just, again, like I say all the time, just let it go. At the end of the day, you just need to let go what happened and move forward and let things that have happened to you and hurt you, that's gonna build you up. And if you let it, make you a positive person you can help show that that person that hurts you hey you thought you broke me but you made me stronger and in, in a sense that's kind of a little bit payback for them because you know you're you're not letting it get you down you're moving on and moving forward um, the quote for today is if you want to make positive changes in your life don't sit on the couch and wait for it go out make a change smile more be more excited do new things throw away what you've been cluttering don't follow negative people be fierce don't gossip show more gratitude don't let things challenge you be brave that is really good advice in everything that it has said and everything that i've been talking about don't let this world, because there is, I mean, you turn on the TV and you turn on the news. I try not to watch the news because it's so depressing, but there's always something bad happening. And if you think about that and fester on that and think, you know, why is God letting this happen? Or, or why is this happening in the world? It will eat you away and it'll make you a better person. Instead, you need to focus on the good things in your life and focus on the good things of helping others and being there for other people. And in turn, it'll make you a much happier person. So I wanna leave you with, don't let this world get you down. Don't let your past make you weak and cold and bitter. Let it make you strong and learn from it and be more positive. So I hope you'll have a blessed weekend and stay safe.